Here from uh, John Himsley, which follows up on what you just said, Sir Max. Is how likely is the current Russia-Ukraine war to end in stalemate as the international community loses their nerve? There is a real danger, and I still, I'm not in the political loop anymore. I don't know the politicians, but I do talk to the military on both sides of the Atlantic almost every day. And the danger is very great that um, we have become so soft, we've become so accustomed to a peaceful existence um, in which nothing very bad can happen, that we choose the soft oxen. And the fear that when winter comes and people find their gas supplies being cut off and so on, uh, that people will weaken um, is very great. And um, it's, it's not an easy one to answer. Uh, that, um, again, to come back to something I said earlier in the Big Ten, um, and again, I hope it's not too distressing for people to say, if you're going to have successful leaders, those leaders need moral authority. They need to be people who can stand up in front of the British people or the American people and be listened to. And I'm afraid I'm not persuaded that we have leaders who deserve to be listened to. And this is the problem. And what some of us uh, are trying to do, we're trying to say, we're in a new historical situation. We are facing a real threat. And I'm completely, I think it is possible, I hope not probable, but possible, we will at some point have to fight the Russians ourselves. I hope it doesn't come to that because the Russians have nuclear weapons. But um, we have to face that possibility. But um, I think we've got to be part of the whole equation. First, we have to think long. We don't have to think over 10 weeks or 10 days or 10 months. We have to think over 10 years. But also, I think we have to look to a new politics and a new kind of leaders. The other night, I sat next to a new generation Tory MP at dinner. And she said, I think to be polite to a boring old fart, um, what do you think I should do? And I said, I have no opinion about um, uh, what, your, what um, view for Britain or the world you should espouse. But the politicians I knew and admired for many years who went into politics in 1945 and afterwards, they all had different visions, the Roy Jenkins, the Michael Hiltines, all those, about what, but they all had a vision for where Britain and the world was going. Now, most of the people who now go into politics now, and I'm not, this is not a, 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 a Tory point, it's a point across the parties. They want to be prime minister, they want to be foreign secretary, they want to be, they have absolutely zero vision about where they want our country or our society to go. So all I'm asking from the next generation of leaders is they have some vision. And what I said to this woman the other night at dinner was, was I, I can't tell you what you ought to think about where we're going. But the business of how do we get through to Tuesday is not good enough to justify the presence of our leaders in Downing Street or anywhere else. But I apologize if I'm spoiling a good day for people, but, but I feel passionately about it.